I'm going to show you how to sex a leopard gecko. So if you're new to keeping leopard geckos, you just bought a leopard gecko and you don't know what the gender is, you want to find out, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to sex a leopard gecko. So first of all, there's a few things you need to know. Firstly, and most importantly, you can't sex a baby leopard gecko until they're around about four to six, maybe even eight months old. If you've brought your leopard gecko from a reputable breeder, they'll be able to tell you a really good idea of what the sex is, simply because leopard geckos are something called temperature sex determinated. That you can determine their sex through what temperature the eggs are incubated at. For a good example, these are the leopard gecko eggs that I'm incubating, and they're being incubated at 29 degrees Celsius, and they're gonna be, oh, the majority females, some males, you can incubate them a little bit less than that and they'll come out as all females. You can incubate it a little bit more than that and they'll come out all males. Temperature sex determinated. A good reputable breeder will be able to tell you the gender. So let's get straight into the video. How to sex leopard geckos. I've got two examples of um, leopard geckos here, both normals and uh, so you can see the exact difference. And I'll stick some pictures up as well so you can see for yourself. Let's start here with Mac, our male breeder. Obviously you can't see my face, but you can see all the shadows moving down here. I am talking, but look, he's got a regrown tail. That was done before I got him. As a baby, that was done through poor husbandry. But that is Mac, and this is how you sex them. Now, so the way to check these, they don't really like it. You can see how I'm holding him. I'm supporting him all the way underneath. He's got his hands on my finger and I tip him upside down just like that. I'll move my hand a bit so you can see the camera a bit better. And you can see that little V-shape there. The camera's a bit blurry, but you can see that little V-shape just there. That's his paws. Only males have really prominent paws. Just there and just there, you can see two bulges. That's his two penises, his two hemipenal pouches. That's how you can tell this dude to boy. Now let me show you the comparisons against the female. And this, guys, is our female. She's only a small one. There you go. She's a beautiful specimen. She's got a right character and she's a cow. So she's a, a perfect woman, really. Let's show you how to tell the females. So as with Mac, I've got support. I've got the thumb on her back just there. I've got support underneath. And then I simply turn her over. It's the female, you can see there's... Oh, here we go. She's wriggling. See, as they don't like it, don't restrain them. Just let them get a bit of energy out and then we'll go back through it again nice and gentle and um, you can see there's no v pores and there's no hemipenal bulges sometimes when they get a bit nervous they can spray you a bit but there you go you guys you can see a better view there there is no v pores just there and there is no hemipenal bulges let's put her back if you are really new to leopard geckos and you're still a bit skittish about holding the leopard geckos, there is another alternative way you can do it, and that is a simple clear tub. Leopard geckos in there nicely, and you can turn it upside down and have a look yourself. So I hope that video has helped you all identify whether your leopard gecko is a male or a female. If it has, stick it in the comment section below. Let me know what sex yours was. If you've enjoyed the video or learned anything, hit that thumbs up button. Peace out, guys.